Did you know that the key to becoming a truly high-value man isn't about what you have, but who you are? If you want to level up your life, whether it's in relationships, your career, or your personal growth, you need to start with the one thing that you can control yourself. The best way to elevate your life is by mastering the traits that make you stand out from the crowd. Traits like confidence, independence, and authenticity. Avoid this mistake. Many people think they need to chase success or validation from others, but the truth is, real fulfillment comes from within. It comes from living on your own terms, setting boundaries, and consistently showing up as your best self. So, if you're ready to unlock your full potential and step into a life of purpose and influence, keep watching. This is your blueprint for becoming the best version of yourself, and it starts with understanding these 10 powerful principles that will transform you from the inside out. Number one, don't reveal everything. Embrace the power of mystery. It's so easy to want to share every detail about ourselves, our thoughts, our plans, but there's something powerful about withholding certain pieces of information. We live in a world where social media encourages oversharing, where our lives are on display, every moment captured and posted for the world to see. It feels almost natural to open up and let everyone in, especially when it feels good to be heard. There's a sense of connection, of being understood, and sometimes that validation feels like it's all we need. But here's the thing, the more we reveal, the more we expose our vulnerabilities, sometimes without realizing it. Now, let's dive deeper. Imagine walking into a room, knowing you're the most intriguing person there. Mysterious, confident, and unknowable. When you don't reveal everything about yourself, you create a space of curiosity around you. Think about the people you've met in your life who didn't tell you their entire story in one go. Weren't they the ones you wanted to know more about? Their sense of mystery made them stand out. People are drawn to what they don't fully understand. It's human nature to want to solve the puzzle, to uncover the hidden layers. The key is to maintain an air of mystery. Reflect for a moment on your own life. Think back to times when you were overly transparent. Did it always lead to the outcomes you wanted? Or did it sometimes feel like you gave away too much, too soon? The most valuable lessons often come from what is left unsaid, the spaces between our words, the quiet moments. There's a magic in not giving everything away, in letting people work for your trust. Take a moment to think about the times in your past when you shared too much too quickly. Maybe it was in a relationship, a friendship, or even in a professional setting. Remember how it felt when someone knew more about you than you were comfortable with. Maybe it made you feel exposed or like you lost control of the narrative. In those moments, the mystery that once existed around you began to dissipate. People love familiarity, but they also love the unknown. If you constantly share every thought, feeling or detail about your life, you take away that sense of intrigue. Curious yet? I bet you're starting to think about the last time you shared something too freely and wondering how you could have turned it into a more meaningful interaction. What if holding back just a little could have made that connection more powerful? Embracing the power of mystery isn't about manipulation or deception. It's about letting others become curious, letting them earn the right to know you on a deeper level. When people have to work for the information, they value it more. It's all about maintaining the right balance of openness and restraint. So the next time you're about to reveal something personal, pause and ask yourself, how much is too much? Keep that air of mystery alive and watch as others become more drawn to you, intrigued by your story and eager to uncover more. Number two, create a fear of losing you. Be irreplaceable. Think about the people who you feel are irreplaceable in your life. 
What is it about them that makes them stand out? Maybe it's the way they make you feel like you're the most important person in the room. Maybe it's their unique perspective, their kindness, or the value they bring. When you start thinking about your own place in the world, your relationships, your work, your social circles, ask yourself, what makes me irreplaceable? It's easy to feel replaceable in a world that moves so quickly. With billions of people, thousands of influencers, and a constant stream of information, it can sometimes feel like we're just one of many, vying for attention in an overstimulated world. But the truth is, when you embody a sense of value that no one else can offer, you make yourself irreplaceable. This isn't about being perfect or about never making mistakes. It's about creating a version of yourself that people don't want to lose. Consider the relationships in your life, the ones that have lasted, the ones that have stood the test of time. Think about what you bring to those connections that others might not. Do you listen better than anyone else? Are you the one who brings creativity and fresh perspectives to every conversation? Maybe you have a way of making people feel seen and heard, something that others simply can't replicate. When you provide something of real value, something that is uniquely you, you create a sense of dependency, positive dependency, of course. People want to be around you because of what you offer, not because they need to fill a void. Looking back, have you ever had someone in your life who you feared losing? Perhaps it was a mentor, a partner, or a close friend. There was something about them that made you feel like your world would be different without them. They had a particular quality, something that made them irreplaceable. Now think about yourself. What is it that you do or give that others can't find anywhere else? That is your power. There's something undeniably powerful about becoming someone that others fear losing. But here's the catch. It's not about playing games or manipulating people. It's about genuinely developing yourself in a way that makes your presence invaluable. When you invest in yourself, whether it's through knowledge, kindness, creativity, or simply being the best version of yourself, others will recognize that value. You don't have to prove your worth. People will feel it. They'll know that losing you would leave a void that can't easily be filled. Now imagine how different your life would be if you truly embraced this idea. What if you started thinking about every interaction, every relationship, every business deal through the lens of irreplaceability? How would it change your behavior, your self-image, and your influence over others? If you could master this, you'd find yourself surrounded by people who not only appreciate your presence, but actively seek to keep you in their lives. That fear of losing you wouldn't just be an emotional reaction, it would be a reality they couldn't afford to ignore. Number three, create your own happiness. Find fulfillment within. It's a thought we all have at some point. If I just had more of this, I would be happy. We chase happiness in external things, new relationships, a better job, a bigger house, or even a shiny new gadget. We've been taught that happiness is something we get, something that comes to us when the right circumstances fall into place. But what if we told you that true happiness isn't something external at all? What if the key to fulfillment was something inside of you all along? Let's take a moment to reflect on the happiness you felt in your life. What was it that made those moments truly fulfilling? Was it the material possessions, the praise from others? Or was it the sense of peace and satisfaction you felt when you were at ease with yourself? The truth is, true happiness comes from within. It's a state of mind, a perspective, and a choice. When you rely on external things to fill that void inside, you're always chasing something that's fleeting. But when you create happiness from within, it becomes an anchor, something that stays with you no matter the circumstances around you. Nostalgia often takes us back to moments when we felt truly fulfilled, not because of the things we had, but because of the way we felt. 
Maybe it was a moment of deep connection with a friend or loved one, or perhaps it was a simple moment of peace when you were alone, content in your own company. Those were the times when you didn't need anyone or anything to feel whole. You were content just being you. Now think about your current state of happiness. Do you feel as though you're chasing it or are you cultivating it? So much of our pursuit of happiness is rooted in the belief that it's something that comes from outside. But in reality, happiness is an internal practice. It's the way you choose to view the world, the thoughts you choose to entertain, and the actions you take to nourish your inner peace. When you make the choice to create your own happiness, you begin to unlock a sense of fulfillment that cannot be shaken by the ups and downs of life. So, what if instead of looking for happiness in the next purchase, the next experience or the next person, you looked inside? What if you shifted your focus from seeking happiness to creating it from within? The power to be truly fulfilled is in your hands. It's all about learning to find joy in the present moment, to appreciate what you already have, and to create the mental and emotional space for peace. Embrace that power and watch as your life transforms into something more meaningful, more authentic, and more fulfilling. Number four, be costly. Let them invest in you. You've heard the phrase, you get what you pay for. But what if the value we place on ourselves and the way we allow others to invest in us has an even deeper meaning? Imagine this. You walk into a store and you spot something that looks exquisite, a designer item, rare and one of a kind. But there's a price attached, a hefty one. It makes you pause, question if it's worth the investment. But deep down, you know that this piece has value and that value is why people are willing to invest in it. So, why should you be any different? You are not a commodity, and neither are your emotions, your time, or your energy. So many of us are conditioned to believe that our worth is measured by how much we can give, how much we can do, and how much we can provide to others. It feels good to be the dependable one, the one who is always there when needed, but when we constantly give of ourselves without any true investment from others, we risk devaluing who we are. Now, think about relationships, whether personal, romantic, or professional. Have you ever noticed that the people who truly value you are often the ones who have invested time, effort, or even resources into building that relationship? The ones who aren't just taking, but are also giving. There's a powerful dynamic that happens when you allow people to invest in you. It makes them value the connection more deeply. Why? Because they've put something of themselves into it. This doesn't mean you demand everything from others in exchange for your time or attention, but you should set a standard that what you give is valuable and should be treated as such. Look back for a moment. Think about the times you've poured your heart into something or someone without receiving anything in return. Maybe it was a relationship where you felt like you were the one always giving, whether it was your time, energy or emotional support. How did it feel? Chances are you might have felt drained, underappreciated or even resentful over time. The key to changing that dynamic is this don't be afraid to set a higher standard. Let people invest in you, whether it's by giving their time, energy or resources. Let them prove that they value you. Curious about how to start shifting the balance of investment? It's about setting boundaries and showing the world that your time, your energy and your heart are precious. You don't give them freely. You allow others to earn your trust, your attention and your emotional investment. When you do this, you'll start to notice a shift in how people treat you. They'll no longer take your presence for granted and they'll start to invest in a way that deepens the connection rather than draining it. And as you practice this, you'll see how this not only boosts your self-worth,
but also helps others value themselves as they step up to meet you at a higher standard. Number five, don't make them the center of your life. It's so easy to fall into the trap of making someone else the center of your world. Whether it's a partner, a friend, or even a family member, the desire to be loved and needed can sometimes lead us to lose sight of our own value. We think that the more we give, the more we love, the more we sacrifice, the more we'll be appreciated. But let me ask you this. Have you ever noticed how people treat you when they know that you'll always be there, no matter what? Think about a time when you prioritized someone else's needs over your own, when you gave so much of yourself, expecting that they would do the same. Initially, it may have felt like a genuine connection, a true bond. But over time, did it feel like that person began to take you for granted? Maybe they didn't appreciate your efforts or even notice your sacrifices. The truth is, when we make someone the center of our lives, we risk losing ourselves in the process. We forget that we are individuals with our own dreams, desires and goals. It's easy to get caught up in the other person's needs and forget about your own. When we make someone the center of our life, we unintentionally become secondary to our own needs, emotions and desires. And over time, that imbalance can lead to resentment, burnout and a sense of emptiness. Reflect on the past. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt you gave everything to someone only to feel empty in return? Perhaps it was a time when you focused too much on their happiness and lost sight of your own. Now, think about the relationships where both parties maintained their independence while sharing their lives with each other. How much more fulfilling were those connections? When you don't make someone the center of your life, you create a space where both individuals can thrive and grow without fear of losing themselves in the process. Here's where the curiosity starts to kick in. What would it be like if you made yourself the center of your life while still showing up for others? What if, instead of sacrificing your needs, you focused on becoming the best version of yourself and then allowed others to meet you there? This is the path to a balanced and healthy relationship, one where both partners or friends feel valued for their individuality, not just their role in the other person's life. It's time to stop losing yourself in relationships and start investing in your own growth and happiness. Number six, prioritize your own needs. First, we live in a society that often encourages self-sacrifice, putting the needs of others before our own. The idea that we should always be there for others, that we should constantly give and care for those around us is deeply ingrained in our culture. But what if this approach is actually doing more harm than good? What if prioritizing your own needs isn't selfish, but actually essential for your well-being? When was the last time you took a moment to focus on your own needs without feeling guilty? Whether it's taking a break from the world, spending time on your personal goals, or simply saying no when you need to, prioritizing yourself is a radical act of self-respect. It's not about abandoning others, it's about recognizing that you can only give from a place of abundance, not exhaustion. Let's think about the times when we've neglected our own needs in favor of others. Have you ever found yourself saying yes to things just to keep others happy, only to feel drained or resentful later? Or perhaps you've put your dreams or passions on the back burner for someone else's agenda. This can happen in all areas of life, whether in friendships, work or relationships. But here's the thing, if you constantly neglect your own needs, you're not giving your best to anyone, including yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. Nostalgia has a way of reminding us of moments when we were truly content, when we took care of ourselves, when we lived authentically. Think about a time when you felt aligned with your true self, when your needs were being met and you were focused on your own growth. That sense of balance is what allows you to show up fully for others, to offer love, support and care from a place of strength. 
It's when you honor your own needs that you can truly be present for others without feeling drained or resentful. Number seven, don't be always available. Value your time. Time is one of the most valuable things we have. It's limited, it's precious, and once it's gone, we can never get it back. Yet how often do we find ourselves giving away our time without truly valuing it? In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to fall into the trap of feeling like we must always be available to others, whether it's answering a text, taking a call, or showing up for every single request. But what if I told you that the key to truly mastering your life is learning to say no and value your time? Think about it. How many times have you felt overwhelmed by the constant demands on your time? The people who expect your attention, the commitments you feel obligated to keep, the constant distractions. It can feel exhausting, and over time it can start to feel like you have no control over your own life. But here's the secret you are in control of your time. The more you value your time, the more others will start to value it too. Reflect for a moment. Have you ever had someone who constantly expects your attention but never offers you the same in return? How did it feel to always be there for them, only to feel like your time was being taken for granted? It's a familiar situation for many, but the good news is that you don't have to stay stuck in that pattern. By setting boundaries and not being always available, you begin to reclaim your time, your energy, and your life. Now, let's dig deeper into this. What if you started to value your time in such a way that you reserved it only for the things and people that truly matter? Imagine the peace of mind that would come with knowing that your time is a precious resource and you are intentional about how you spend it. You can still be there for the people who matter most, but you stop feeling like you have to be at everyone's beck and call. And when you do this, you'll find that you not only have more energy, but also a greater sense of fulfillment and purpose in everything you do. Number eight, cultivate confidence and independence. Confidence isn't something you're born with. It's something you develop over time. It's the belief in your own worth, your abilities and your potential. But to truly become the person you're meant to be, you need to cultivate a sense of independence that comes from within. This means being able to stand on your own without relying on others to validate you or define your worth. What would it look like if you became truly confident in yourself, independent in your thoughts and unwavering in your actions? How would that change your life? The truth is, when you become confident and independent, you stop seeking external validation. You no longer rely on others to tell you what you're worth or what you're capable of. Instead, you look within and realize that everything you need is already inside you. Take a moment and think back to a time when you felt truly confident. Perhaps it was when you achieved something on your own, or when you made a decision that felt true to you, despite what others thought. Remember how empowering that moment felt. That is the energy of confidence and independence. Curious about how you can cultivate this power? Start small, set boundaries, make decisions based on your own values, and trust yourself. The more you practice self-reliance, the more confident you'll become, and with confidence comes the freedom to live life on your terms, without needing anyone's approval. When you embrace confidence and independence, you unlock your true potential. Number nine, live with purpose and authenticity. Purpose and authenticity are the cornerstones of a fulfilled life. But living with purpose doesn't just happen, it requires intentionality. It means aligning your actions, your choices, and your goals with your true self. When you live authentically, you stop pretending to be someone you're not. You embrace who you truly are, flaws and all, and let that be the guiding force in your life. Have you ever experienced the feeling of waking up, going through the motions of the day, and wondering if you're really living in alignment with your true purpose? Many of us have been there, feeling disconnected, lost, 
or unsure of the next step. But the truth is, you don't have to live that way. You have the power to live with purpose, and you can begin by aligning your daily actions with your core values. Think back to a time when you felt truly alive, when you were doing something that resonated with your soul. What were you doing? Who were you with? That sense of alignment is what happens when we live with purpose and authenticity. It's when we stop pretending to be something we're not and start embracing who we truly are. And once you begin to live authentically, you'll feel a sense of peace, direction and fulfillment that you can't get from living for anyone else's expectations. Curious how to start living with purpose? It begins with self-awareness, understanding your values, your strengths and your desires. Once you have that clarity, begin to make choices that reflect those truths. The more authentic you are, the more fulfilling your life will become. Number 10. Balance strength with kindness and respect. Strength doesn't mean being harsh or unyielding. True strength is rooted in kindness and respect. There's a delicate balance that comes with being strong, one that doesn't sacrifice compassion for the sake of power. The most powerful people in the world are often those who lead with both strength and empathy. They know when to stand firm and when to show grace. Think about it when we think of strength. We often imagine someone who is tough, someone who doesn't back down or show vulnerability. But true strength isn't about being unbreakable. It's about having the power to choose your responses, to maintain your boundaries and to protect your peace while still showing kindness and respect to others. Nostalgically, we may recall moments where we witnessed incredible acts of strength combined with kindness. Perhaps it was a mentor who stood firm in their beliefs, but always extended a hand to those in need. Or maybe it was a leader who navigated challenges with grace and humility. These moments remind us that strength, when tempered with kindness and respect, becomes something that uplifts others rather than diminishes them. Curious how to balance strength with kindness? Start by recognizing that true power lies not in dominating others, but in uplifting them. Lead with empathy, stay grounded in your own values, and stand firm in your decisions without losing your humanity. This balance is what builds lasting respect and creates relationships based on trust, admiration, and mutual growth. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments that shows you're part of the 0.01% who are truly committed to improving themselves and pushing beyond the limits. You're not just someone who watches videos, you're someone who takes action and makes things happen. That's what it takes to stand out, to become the high-value man you're meant to be. And if you're serious about making lasting changes in your life, subscribing to this channel is the first step. We're here to provide you with the tools, insights and support you need to unlock your true potential and live with purpose. Don't just watch, take action. Let's rise together.